Of course, Sydney has no shortage of fast rotaries either, with those of Rocky and George of Pack Performance probably the most known. Rotaries are a specialty. We eat rotaries, breathe rotaries, live rotaries. But there is a bit of competition with Melbourne. Anthony and, and Mastec, they, they do have the advantage of racing at Calder Park. Calder Park is probably Australia's fastest and quickest track. They only have to run a pipe off their exhaust, whereas we have to run a full street exhaust. So at the moment, with the way things are at Eastern Creek, I don't think our times are going to be anything to compare with, with Anthony's. We will be tra travelling down to Melbourne to race. With a best time of 9.4, the 503 brake horsepower 20B Pac-Man has been popular for some time. And their 13B RX2 is now back on the track. So now we have one car which we race as a 13B and one we race as a 20B. And that way we keep developing both engines at, at a similar rate rather than just put all the eggs in the one basket. The 13B probably is cheaper to get the run. Although with a 13B you, you have to probably push the engine a lot harder so it's under a lot more stress than a 20B. With the extra cubes of the 20B you can afford to run the engine probably less stress than you would a 13B and get the same power. Uh, the 20B's got a lot of torque, it, it's good for burnouts, it just pulls all up the track. It doesn't sound like a rotary so you don't get all the people hassling you about the rotary noise. 20B is nice, yeah, I prefer the 20B. The RX3 at the moment is just having some work done on it. Well, RX2, this is our main weapon at the moment at Pack Performance. It used to be the original car that we, we raced for a very long time. I think probably put our name on the map. And it's been in hiding for a while, but we've just got it up and running again. And we, we hope to be running in mid to low nines with this very soon. The 13B block is from a Series 6 RX7. Everything else is custom made. The single Garrett T04 runs 14 PSI through a Jericho 4 speed box and a Ford 9 inch diff. The exhaust is 3.5 inches. Injection and other electronics are handled by a Microtech MT12. Total output 460 horsepower at the wheels. Rocky and George arrived at our shoot with a group of customers from a recent Fast Fours and Rotaries cover story. They all put on a little display for the cameras. There was Tom Muhammad and his 13B 808 with 330 horsepower at the wheels. Mehmet Hursley brought his rare Series 4 RX2. Jason Flavin's RX3 was top rotary at the Summer Nats Horsepower Hero Shootout they tried to take out our cameraman. Mehmet and Jason wanted the first drag. Jason won with a 13 flat. Tom was already warming up his tyres, so he showed him a 1000cc Honda Firestorm and waved them off. The bike ran exactly 12 seconds, Tom at 12.1. A week later, Tom ran a 10.9 at 127 miles per hour at an Eastern Creek street meet. Meanwhile, Jason took on a Kawasaki ZX6R. Despite the bike losing traction, it still won with a 12 flat to Jason's 12.5. Time for Rocky to teach the bikes a lesson. On the first attempt, the boost was wound up too high at 16 pounds, affecting the car's stability. Well, on the track, I was on and off the throttle, you know. It was very snaky. You probably got that anyway. Yeah. Now running 14 pounds, Rocky tried again. This time against the Kawasaki ZX7R. Victory at last. 10.9 for Rocky, 12 seconds again for the bike. With further development, the RX2's times are sure to improve. We have to be running in the mid mid to low nines with this very soon, provided we have a decent track to race on. 